Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, uh, Pina. Pina. I'm trying to find that switch where the motivation is. <laughs> <laughs> Not even that. It's just like, you know, yeah. It's weird to jump into a clip, but I think the, there's some um, good thought behind doing them this way. So we'll find out. Okay. We'll find out. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's give it a try. Give it a try. All right. So Luke, yeah, we got we'll, the, we'll just give it a try. We got the Pina Colada song bass breakdown. Well, yes. Escape is the name of the song, right? It's yes. called the Pina Colada. Well, what, what's like the official name of the song? Is it Escape or the Pina Colada song? It's both. It's Escape, par parenthetical's the Pina Colada song. It's not confusing at all. No. Uh, do you do I you think like when anybody Google's a song, do you think they put the little uh curve over the end? <laughs> Maybe if they're like native Spanish speaker. Okay. Like, I know the keyboard shortcut for that. Or it's on my keyboard. But I don't know. I didn't know how to do it. You hold down the N and then you get a selection. Like I said, of one. You, just, you just can't do it, you know? You just you're like <laughs> Now if you had a typewriter if, you know what though you know what because on a typewriter you can put a letter and yeah. then scoot back and then put a symbol and it's actually pretty simple oh really and that is actually it's, it's pretty pretty inventive like they're uh on my typewriter every every model is different obviously but on my typewriter the way to make an exclamation mark was actually to do like like, like a fat apostrophe their apostrophes are pretty fat so you do that and then you scoot back and do a period so this, they didn't actually have a button for exclamation mark. Yeah. It was just like a, an apostrophe plus a period, and you had it. And that sounds way faster than our current situation. Totally. Where you had to push shift and then hit one. Yeah, That's I've hit like one so button. Oh, time consuming. Well, I, I've hit two buttons at the same time versus one button, one button. Although I will say, with the with the state of printers and the cost of printer ink, yeah. Like, Sure, you can type it up on your computer, but getting it onto an actual sheet of paper, which is part of the process with the typewriter, you're going straight to the paper. You know? You're going to the source. You're cutting out the fucking middleman right there is what you're doing. Cutting out the middle. Cutting out all the, those those cheap ass rundown mafioso style printer yeah, companies yeah, that yeah. just want they want to make a machine that's going to break in two days and charge you hundred and thirty dollars for one cartridge at your bank. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you what reminds me of cutting out the middleman? What's up? having a significant other that you don't love anymore and so you write a song about meeting somebody new and she answers your want ad mm, that's definitely because then you have to go to therapy <laughs> that's a that's a good well, one. you might consider it after the fact after you've yeah. both gone to find someone else and you find each yeah. other then he's like you know maybe there's something isn't working in our relationship i feel like if if I know this song is taken as maybe like a romantic song, but if you really think about it, it's like, no, this is a very, very troubled relationship that is hardcore on the rocks. <laughs> like this, yeah, yeah this Wait, is not going and nothing, well. And nothing says romantic song like I'm going to have an affair. <laughs> That's like the, <laughs> this is the most, like you see each other at the at the, the bar and you're like, oh shit, we're, we're both going to well, cheat? Hell, the, when I was in high school, the, the big rock song that all the chicks loved was The Lips of an Angel by Hinder, which was like totally about this guy with his wife thinking about this other girl and calling her at night and having to whisper to her on the phone because he didn't want his wife yeah. to overhear or his girl, his current girlfriend over here, whatever the situation yeah. was. And like girls loved that song. It was so romantic. Right. Like how how is that? He's actively cheating yeah. on his girl. And this is the guy that you want. So yeah, it totally matches up with this one. This is romantic. romantic. This is like the pinnacle I think as long of as romance. The pina colada of romance. Yeah, 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 the, that, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we uh, at the studio tackled the baseline this week. I think it's a great, and I'm even going to say this: like maybe we come up with a rating scale of difficulty. It's like a one. And it, so if you're mm -hmm. a, a starter bass player, it's a great bass line for you to learn mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there's four notes in it. It repeats a lot. There's one tricky rhythm thing. That's about it. And it's a very slow tempo, 70 BPM. That's manageable. You, you can yeah. easily count your way through that, right? One e and a two and three and four, right? Yeah, mm. manageable. Mm -hmm. Well, and and I, I mean, obviously this sounds stupid to say, but this is kind of why I want to have this conversation too. You're, you're changing with the chords. I mean, a lot of bass lines do, but there's no leading going on. So you can really get that. Doom, doom, doom. Right, right. You, you can listen to the song once or twice or 
yeah. once because the, the thing goes on so damn long. But listen to the song halfway through, an eighth of the way through once, and you got it, right? You got the rhythm. Because it just repeats yeah. over and over yeah. ad infinitum. Uh, ad nauseum, maybe. So we got what? So you've you've mastered already. So now w one thing that I do like about it, I, okay. So for beginners or somebody who just wants to get the confidence on bass, it's a great song for that. But we also made like a backing track. So after you like run through the video and, and understand how to play it, this breakdown um, here lower on the page shows you. I mean, allows you to play it with just the drum part. So let me play that a minute. So I'm playing a video of a video of a video. Cool. And it's loading, so we'll just cut into it and make it work. So, I mean, that's nice because I think a lot of people start learning songs, and then they never play it with a metronome or they never play it with a backing track. They just right. cheat over and over again and play it with the actual recording, which is good. I mean, you should, but you should challenge yourself too. Well, even when when I was starting to to learn guitar, I I didn't even play with the actual recording because, I, frankly, I I couldn't you know go up to speed on the stuff like yeah. the, the songs. And so I never played it in time in any way, shape, or form. I never played with a metronome. I never played with a recording. I never played with a backing track, nothing. So I just, and I had no concept that I wasn't, there was a whole like um, aspect of playing music, <laughs> a skill set that I just wasn't even developing. I was just totally cutting that out. Yeah. Much like the middleman we talked about. And it wasn't the shortcut though. Like cutting out the middleman is actually a shortcut. No. Like you skipping one step, you know, but this was like, not with with typewriters the whole skill set yeah yeah it was the typewriters no i it, it it's almost starting again from scratch cuz as soon as you have to bring in the tempo or you know good timing yeah it just you're basically starting over yeah yeah there's i mean there there, there are plenty of stories i've heard um, from musician friends where it's like them or a friend of theirs became like virtuoso technical skill on the instrument but they had zero groove right yep and and so all their their speed and their flashiness didn't matter because they couldn't play with people in time so then they had to go back to the basics and develop groove what, what i love more than that though is the people that don't get that they have that issue and they're like wow that that, that metronome's wrong or they're like uh <laughs> the I, metronome's I wrong. <laughs> yeah they're like uh it, it, they're like is that the special sub subdivision metronome that you know moves every other <laughs> eighth note a little bit quicker now i recorded this guy probably 10 years ago on acoustic and he sang and i thought he had like a sense of like okay you know he played good on his own it sounded like a steady tempo he came and he goes, what, what is that? <laughs> I go, that's your metronome. <laughs> you know, we figured out the time for the song. And yeah. he's like, oh, I, I don't play with those. <laughs> don't often means can't. In that yeah, answer. yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. I don't. No, but then you get into that band situation like you were saying. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, this, this doesn't work at all. You guys are playing a different song than I'm playing. And yeah. Right. So backing track. I did three different speeds. So you have 50, 60, and 70 BPM. Um, cool. yeah, uh, a good fun song. I mean, yeah, yeah. would I, here, here's, here's my two evaluations. It's a one on the easy scale, one out of 10. It's a number one on would I turn the stage in if it was on the radio? <laughs> <laughs> so it's got a one and one yeah. rating on mine. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one ratio. That's, that's a good one though. That's, that's good. It's much like, uh, like, like we, this week, this last week we talked about within our, or our, our Slack chat, we talked about that Tom Petty song, Learning to Fly. Yeah. And it's like, oh, Tom, well, one opinion was Tom Petty makes this work, this playing yeah. the same four chords over and having zero development. And then I'm just like, I can't stand that song. Yeah. It is so, so boring to me. And it's so long. It just keeps going. And yeah. Like, you can have your yeah. opinion that Tom Petty made that song work, but I've heard songs that go through the same four chords that work far better in my mind yeah like actually now, retain some interest value i wanted to be a dick and bring up the fact that two times in the song he does sit on the g for an extra measure <laughs> so when you when you go and say oh he plays the he same does chords spice he spice it up he does spice it up you're, you're right yeah you're right. Sitting, sitting on There's that a... g chord that's part of his harmonic progression and then returning back to what was it a minor or something that starts with no f, 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 f. it's okay, actually okay. pretty much the same chords as pina colada 
Mm. FA minor GF. Yeah. Yeah. C. There's a C. Yeah. C. Yeah. 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 It's um, FA minor CG, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fam. So. Yeah, yeah. Now I, sure. you're a big fan of mashups. Maybe it'll be fun to do like a, a, a learning learning to pina <laughs> pina colada pina fly. No, that's not gonna work. Damn it. If only I could bring those song. words together. Yeah, it sounds a little I bit like some of I love mashups. Love mashups. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. actually my most favoritist thing in the whole world, much like improper use of English. Love it. <laughs> All right. Get the base tab at musicbythemeasures.com. We'll put a link below. Um, you can get, you can buy this tab for five seventy five, or a much better deal is subscribe to us monthly, and you can get 10 tabs for nine ninety nine a month. Woot. Woop. All right. Ten fingers, ten tabs. Ten fingers. T that's we came up with the marketing scheme. Now we we had a guy that only had nine fingers, and we're like nine fingers, nine tabs. We're like shit. No, we fired no. that guy. You can't, you can't do nine for nine ninety nine. I mean, come on. No, no, no. So it's too many nines. All right. It's way too many. Way nines. too many nines. Download this tab. Work on the backing tracks. And Nick, you have a good week. You too. <laughs>